Welcome back to Shelf Gaming, the only show on the internet where you didn't miss a thing during that commercial break. <laughs> other than a complete and utter domination by Crandon, as expected. Hell yeah, I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. Man, I like how you stunned him, but it still says not enough pressure is on. <laughs> <laughs> like, KO is fucking done. I mean, I guess his body's only a little damaged, despite the fact that his bar is so far down. <laughs> oh no, he took damage! He's going from the pit, it's all over! Never mind. Not even one. <laughs> oh wait, you have, you have a comeback? Uh, we have resilient, uh, yeah, we have, oh yeah, we have the fucking, basically, Hulk up. Ha! <laughs> ah, dude, Oof. that hit! I literally went through his body! Yeah, yeah you did. Grab KO! Admittedly, this is one of the things that is more annoying. The fucking it, objectives and right. shit, yeah. Well, yeah, because sometimes it's just stuff like... Grab, which does just doesn't work all the time. Right. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh no! He stole our finisher! How fucking dare he! Ah, uh, biggest mistake of his goddamn career. For the record, Crandon would have kicked out of that on his own. Yeah, no, he was just fine. Like, Kevin felt it coming, which is why he did that. Because he wants to try to, like, demoralize Crandon into thinking he couldn't have done it. Now nah, this... Crandon is still in control. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. He want, He planned that from the start. He just wanted to embarrass KO with the weakest roll-up. Yeah, Crandon. Crandon can get you from anywhere. Fucking roll-ups, small packages. They don't call him Mr. Small Package for nothing. <laughs> Stop stealing our move. That's ours, you bastard. We stole it from Stone Cold. Fair and square. Why do you think they call us stunning Brandon Smith? They don't call you stunning Kevin Owens! That's true, I've never heard even a single person call him that. Not even the one guy who thinks he's really attractive. <laughs> who me, sure it's me, I, I think Kevin Owens is really attractive. Do you? Yeah! Is it because he has the same like general shape and face that you do? Yeah, he gives me hope. <laughs> Did Kevin Owens beat himself? Yes, but no. <laughs> Cranon was going to win no matter what. Yeah. I'm about to go live hey, get out of here, Steam thingy. Get out of here. Censor that, Future Sacred, whoever that was. Hell yeah. They don't want to be docs. What games they're playing on the oh, internet. Nice. Um, no? That is a bummer. But chatting with you is not. What do you want to know? Ah, uh, Cranon put in yeah. the schmoobs on her. Nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Hell yeah, we are. Is your performance tonight? He's gonna win it for the stable. Fluke. <laughs> I don't mean any offense. Yeah, but say me and me and Eric are sitting back in the fucking locker room, <laughs> just fucking cheer squad, like go Cranon. We've been a bunch of jobber. We've been like three man band. <laughs> that was the thing. And you remember three man band? Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal. Never heard of him. Drew McIntyre before he was cool. Never heard of any of those guys actually. Except for Heath Slater. Good luck out there. If you find a bag of ice, I'll keep an eye out. Damn, she's into us. It's fucking sold. Hell yeah. Oh god, we're already just going to the next... I didn't realize this tournament was only on tonight. I thought this was going to be like a multi-week thing. Uh, same? But do you know what this means, bro? What's it mean, When bro? they said the undisputed, they really meant it. Yeah, that's true. Look, Krannon can go all fucking night. Bring them all out at once. Hell yeah. I, I know from personal experience, nothing stops Krannon when he gets going. He's a fucking, fucking machine! 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. He will rock with you all night. <laughs> oh, that's true. We're wrestling more than anybody because we had to do the qualifying maps in the kickoff show. Oh, yeah! But how long is this fucking pay-per-view if they're doing a... They have an entire bracket... Unless there's no other matches on the card but this bracket tournament. Possibly. Though, don't forget, our total match time so far... About three minutes. That's true. We fucking <laughs> steamrolled over Dominic in no time at all. And Kevin, Kevin Owens in slightly more time. Right. It, yeah. 
All you people, you fucking love me. I and love, you're right for that. I love Crandon. God, Crandon's my hero. God, he's so good. I hate that this stage doesn't have a Titan Tron, so people can't see the fucking on the shelf game and <laughs> Titan Tron we made for him. Yeah, it's okay, bro. It's fucking coming someday. <laughs> And who are we wrestling? I believe they said Braun Strowman. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. Hell That's fine. yeah. Light workout. We fought a guy half our size. We got a guy roughly our size. We're going to fight a guy twice our size. <laughs> and none of them are going to be able to handle the Cran Man. Hell yeah, bro. Now we're fucking ready. People are so often, like, overly inflated in these games. Right. Braun Strowman is not one of those. Yeah, he doesn't he look is, inflated enough. Yeah, but say he, he is wider in real life than he <laughs> is right here. Braun's just jealous of Cranon's long, flowing locks. Hell yeah, that's really why he wanted... That's why he put out, pulled out all the stops against his last <laughs> opponent. He's like, I gotta fucking rip the hair off of that guy. <laughs> I need it more. His will grow back. <laughs> Mine never did. <laughs> Too many weenies. <laughs> uh, I think Braun Strowman, when he saw like the Liver King diet, he was like, all right, I'm eating nothing but raw organs. And then all and eleven thousand dollars worth. Still God, wins a month. Eleven. <laughs> I can't even imagine how that much money must look. I know. And fucking liver for people who don't know, Liver King was that guy with a really with admittedly like really nice body um, and like a big beard and he shows up all over your fucking all over your Twitter ads and jump uh, on him. Hey, oh, I, you probably can't jump over the ropes. Yes, I doubt that uh Yeah, no, I doubt nah, he does. Lame. Uh, Understandable since we're a three hundred pound super heavyweight. There we go. That's it. Oh. Stop us. When we go oh. airborne, we go fucking airborne. <laughs> I just realized we're all yellow. Oh, yeah. Probably because we've already wrestled twice tonight. Yeah, I mean, we didn't take anywhere near this much damage. Yeah, because our stamina bar is also like a third gone, too. Yeah, it is. Come back, bro. Boom. Busted his ass open. God damn. This is an embarrassing night to be broad. Remember how he only wrestled once? <laughs> And now he's had that done to him twice. Hell yeah, I don't even remember what our signature is. Spine Buster! Goddamn. You get back up, you motherfucker. Stutter! One, All two, over. fucking clean. Anyway, anyway, uh, Liver King shows up over your Twitter ads. Uh, and he's the guy who just, like, eats raw testicles and, like, just different parts of animals that you not you don't really eat. Uh, and like he was like, oh yeah, that's this is all I fucking do and my uh, protein powder. Um, but no, it was revealed that he was spending eleven thousand U.S. dollars a month on steroids. Yeah, could you imagine if you and I together had eleven thousand dollars a month? <laughs> we wouldn't know what to do with all our money. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't do it all with steroids. Fuck no. <laughs> Man, you know who's not doing a bunch of steroids and eating fucking raw testicles? <laughs> Crandon. Crandon's all fucking natural, baby. Plus all those Slim Jims in that basket. <laughs> Hell yeah. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Mizanin. That sounds understand. like he's fucked. I can understand his anger if that's the case. To abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is understandable. Crazy. Yeah, I can't really fault him for that one. You Roman loves me physically. You gotta do what you gotta do to keep him on the show. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't talk about real people as if they fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's not like it's fucking Mike and whatever Roman's real name is. Oh, fair. It's the Miz and Roman Reigns. <laughs> God, do you remember in at the height of the Shield days, all the actual like Tumblr ship art for <laughs> Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins? <laughs> yeah. God. It was fucking insane. That that was an insane time period for wrestling fans. Yeah. It, I don't know. There's something. 
there's just something so weird about that kind of stuff. Because, like, on the one hand, like, in a way, I feel like, oh, yeah, you know, that's really not that different from, like, people who don't actually exist. Right. But, like, the people could actually see it. Right. It's like, because, like, there's a, and I'm sure it happens for a lot of other people, too. This is just the first one I learned about. Because uh, there's a subreddit for the Game Grumps. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically for that kind of stuff. Right. Like shipping Dan and Aaron and all that. Right. Um... And on one hand, it's like, I mean, they're basically fictional characters as far as, like, people's interactions with them in their day-to-day life. So it's like, on the one hand, okay, but it's like the Game Grumps know that place exists. Right. And, like, I'm sure they're not going out of their way to fucking visit it. That's not the point. It's like they know (laughs) people are doing this, and that's just kind of weird. Now, that said, if you want to make an on-the-shelf gaming Reddit (laughs) where you make weird ship art, of uh, Sacred Crandon and I, fucking go for it. Absolutely, I I think that'd don't be send super it fun. to me, <laughs> but do it. <laughs> no, I, I think that'd be super fun. Send it to me because okay. I will laugh. That's fine. Send Every it, time, send it to Sacred, and Sacred will show me if it's just really fucking funny. Right, because like, that's, that's the thing. Like real life people, you know, they they say it's creepy all the time. Because like. Uh, Elizabeth used to watch uh, Jack Septicai and Markiplier all the time, and people ship them so much that both of them had to stop making videos together because they thought it was super creepy, and the more they interacted, the worse it got. Right. So it's like, I, I, I have no doubt that it probably did creep the fuck out of them. I just know that me as a person, if someone drew a picture of you and me fucking, I would think it's the funniest shit <laughs> that I'm going to see that week. <laughs> yeah. Of course, maybe they did do it first. Right. Because when you have, like, tens of millions of subscribers... Like, I'm sure you get inundated with so much. Right, it just keeps coming. Yeah. Just like you and me and that art that I'm <laughs> sure they're going to make someday. Yeah, any, any day. I'm sure, so, I'm sure one of our loyal viewers is working on it right now. Yeah, just send us a picture of a white page and be like, yeah, that's where y'all came too hard. <laughs> <laughs> y'all exploded, man. Uh, once Eric found Sacred's G-Spot, it was over. <laughs> Uh, is that G for grooming? <laughs> well, I know what this episode's title is uh, going to be. <laughs> God. All right. Now they've officially uh, culminated the grooming jokes. Uh, they're dead forever, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you don't think I bring it up all the fucking time. I'll just bring it over to really an opportune for you. Yeah, but see, you do it semi-regularly. <laughs> well, maybe you should have groomed me, asshole. I didn't fucking groom you. That's not for you to decide. It's for reality <laughs> to decide. And the reality is it didn't happen. <laughs> Look, just because you got cold feet once I finally made it to Texas. Bro, I knew what you fucking looked like from the get-go. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Good times. We have fun here. Anyway, yeah. Crandon's going to slaughter Cody Rhodes. Yeah. He'll never finish the story. <laughs> His half-brother, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> he hasn't eaten enough Slim Jims. He doesn't stand a goddamn chance. <laughs> Look at him. He's so skinny. God, I bet Cody Rhodes eats so many fucking raw testicles. Oh, I bet he does. That's how his fucking, his peck repaired itself. His, he just ate a bunch of raw <laughs> testicles specifically. Well, now he's going to eat fucking Crandon's raw testicles. Whoa! Oh! Okay, Crandon, now that I've talked all this shit, you cannot lose. Yeah. Uh, no pressure, but they may literally teabag you uh, if he manages to get a pin. Shit! Ah, shit! Oh, God! The sharpshooter! Ah, oh, tap no. out! Find another day, Crandon! <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck, we're gonna go or his legs. Yeah, I noticed that we're, like, way fucked up, and Cody Rhodes is just a tiny bit. We have wrestled one extra match compared to him. Yeah, but he still has his whole green... Well, not the whole one, but, like, two-thirds of the green bar, whereas we only had, like, half a bar. Right. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't throw him that yeah, hard. So you, you went too hard, you couldn't do the follow-up, bro. I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah. Superplex that guy. He's coming with me, like it or not. 
God damn! Boom! God, Crandon is a fucking monster. They should not have signed him. It is not safe for the other wrestlers to be here. Oh, hell yeah. God, that flying axe handle. He never said a goddamn chance. God, that's his real signature move. Crandon busts out the flying axe handle <laughs> at least once every two minutes. And he's stunned. Exactly as we planned it. Upper right corner. That's painfully specific. Yeah. I wonder what's it gonna what happen to be a cutscene. Okay. Uh, yeah. Damn. Oh, but he didn't do anything. That was the upper right corner, right? Yeah. Maybe it didn't count as a grab. But say that was a grab. Okay. I'm not sure what it's asking me to do. I'm not either. Because grab should be just hitting circle, right? Ah, fuck one of these. Oh yeah, you're terrible at those. But Crandon's not. Crandon might be. He's not used to trading blows. He's used to just giving them. Yeah. Oh no, he's stunned. Shit. Crandon, get out of there. Not the crossroads. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. We're fine. We're good. Not even two. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, but let's damage him a little more. Oh. Fuck, get out of the goddamn way, ref! Boom! Now let's probably hold on to that stutter just in case. Yeah, this... Cause <laughs> we don't know for sure what it's going to want us to do next, if we can get it to do... Stay so back in there. How, would you want to match where he just... Oh, well, there you go. It, okay, I didn't do anything different. That was the same fucking thing. Damn, don't forget to subscribe to On The Shelf Gaming, your favorite <laughs> Let's Play channel. <laughs> oh, into the riff. Oh, he just fucked up. He fucked oh, up. Oh, he's okay. He just brutal. killed us. Yeah, Crandon is dead. That was a spike if I've ever seen one. Cody Rhodes is unsafe. Hey, on the self gaming fan in the room, I like it. Hell yeah! I just want the record to show that if the ref had been up to count a pin there, oh, Brandon would have kicked out with plenty of time. Like he only, hey, Swayasha! I love all the fucking idiot, the on the shelf gaming signs. Yeah, it's fucking great. I've been so focused on the action that I haven't noticed. That Roman Reigns came out and uh, fucking speared Cody. No, not that part. That part's the part I did see. The signs that we made. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's fine. We had a stun already. Yeah, let the record show. That. We didn't need this. Crandon doesn't need Roman. Bring Roman back over here. We'll oh, take him on too. too. God. They're gonna act like this wasn't legit. This was 100% legit. No, we fucking subtract Roman, add one stunner, and yeah, sure, he covered us for like 10 seconds. But again, the ref wasn't there. Yeah, we can lay there for a thousand years knowing we're safe. Yeah, but if that ref had gone one, boom, he'd have been out already. Yeah, we already would have kicked out. It would have been fucking nothing at all. I like how Cody looks pissed at us. Right, like we're the ones who fucking cheated. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mark Days is the champion! Get ready for that number to fucking go to 9999, baby! God. I think it ticks over and we become zero again. <laughs> Do you think Crandon has this shirt? Yeah. I feel like Crandon has this shirt. Probably. It's a terrible looking suit. Let's say, let's avoid talking to uh, Cody Rhodes just for a minute. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your effort. I know you yeah. like hell to win the title. We did. We fucking we crushed, man. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals and won. 
A fine achievement that the WWE... I like the confidence grinding, because we, we were gonna win! There's no way we were gonna lose. No. We were so fucked up, he hit us with a crossroads, and I still kicked out at one! <laughs> People think Cody would have won? Great. Tonight, we face each other People again. think Cody would have won? <laughs> Great! To prove to you and the WWE Universe that I deserve to carry the title. Good lad. You can't let the world define you. You have to define yourself. Hell yeah. I'm going to define myself as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. You're yeah. fucking right, Crandon. You and you're gonna do that next time on On The Shelf Gaming.